Well, between May 31st and June the 1st, 1921, Tulsa's prosperous African American community known as Black Wall Street will fall victim to one of the nation's most violent racial incidents sparked by an encounter in an elevator between a black man and a white woman. More than 1,200 homes and businesses were destroyed and hundreds were killed. Their bodies were dumped in mass graves. CBS's Donya Buck has explores what happened that day on Black Wall Street and her family connection. On May 31st, 1921, a single gunshot turned into a massacre on Tulsa's Greenwood Avenue. Do you remember getting shot at when you ran across the street? Oh yeah, you could hear bullets singing down the street. Zoom. Historian Scott Ellsworth learned what happened to my family during a 1978 interview with my great-grandfather W.D., who was 16 at the time of the massacre. Armed, my great-great-grandfather tried to protect his wife Lula, son W.D., and their home. John Williams and his son W.D., they're in this second floor window, and as the light of dawn starts to come up, this wall of whites start coming this way, they realize it's time, we've got to go. From a high grain elevator, a machine gun fired shots. Planes flew overhead, Ellsworth says, dropping explosives. In a matter of hours, Tulsa's Black Wall Street was demolished. More than a thousand homes and businesses looted and burned to the ground. Pictures sold as postcards show the brutal aftermath. Bodies lined the streets. Historians believe hundreds were killed, the dead dumped in mass graves. Hundreds of black people were rounded up and taken to internment camps by deputized white men. W.D. was one of the prisoners. Get on around. Hold your hands up. So he marched me around the green with Eastern. And there were about 50 more blacks. He was separated from his parents in the chaos. I was free and outside because I saw him shooting me around the steps. He so, paints such a vivid picture. He does. How did you feel? I don't even know if I have the right words to describe the emotion because I think you just immediately think about the fear that, you know, people are feeling in that moment. And then I think as a mother to think about trying to protect my child, reading about it is one thing, but I think when you actually hear it and you hear it from someone who you know is a part of your family, it just, it impacts you differently. When black people returned to Greenwood, they found a neighborhood burned to ash. But Tulsa would soon learn the massacre didn't kill the Greenwood spirit. And to this day, the fight to rebuild continues. Donya back is CBS News, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, quite the interesting story there. Now, tomorrow, Friday, Donia takes a look at what was lost during the massacre and the denial of insurance claims. Then on Monday night, Gail King will host a CBS News special, Tulsa 1921, an American tragedy. It follows more stories like this one. The primetime special airs at 10, 9 central right here on 13 on your side.